The rains that fell all day long on the mega city and beyond brought misery and madness to motorists and commuters on the road from far and wide. PTV correspondent Noel Talakay saw for himself the stop and go traffic on flooded streets and pedestrians soaking wet and weary from all the train in this report. A lifeless body of a young boy floating in a gutter deep flood along Show Boulevard in Barangay, Pleasant Hills, Mandaluyong City was seen yesterday night amidst of heavy rain. Using a steel raker, some individuals tried rescuing the boy and then brought him to the nearest hospital but was declared dead on arrival. According to Mandaluyong Police, the 14-year-old boy was electrocuted after holding on to an electric post. Ang nakareceive kami nung no, mga alas 9 ng gabi na at napag-alaman natin na nangyari pala ito nung malakas ang ulan, mataas ang tubig sa bandang Barangay Plisantil dyan sa in-between ng Toyota at saka Mormon sa Maisho Boulevard. Yung mga kalaro niya, hinihila siya. Pati sila na kurente kaya tumawag siya sa mga, mga kalapit na uh, barangay. According to the monitoring of Mandaluyong City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, some street of four barangay in the city went under gutter deep water. It was also the same along Taft Avenue, UN Avenue, and Quirino Avenue where traffic slowed down to a crawl. This video, a traffic enforcer was caught while managing traffic flow along Eslex Bikutan Express exit southbound in knee-deep flood waters. Before 4 p.m., backed up traffic stretch 8.5 kilometers along Eslex Bikutan northbound and 6 kilometers along the southbound lanes. Rain and floods along backed up a kilometer long trail of vehicles along southbound lane of the Magallanes off ramp. Meanwhile, Senator Bong Revilla called out the management of Metro Manila Development Authority and Department of Public Works and Highways due to flood incidents in different places of Metro Manila. In his statement, he said that there should be little flooding, if none at all, in Metro Manila since the DPWH has taught completion of more than 13,000 flood control structures. Previously, Pag-asa, the State Weather Bureau said that some areas in the country will experience moderate to heavy rainfall due to a combination of low-pressure area LPA and active southwest monsoon that could bring widespread flooding to low-lying areas. Noel Talakay for the nation.